This will be another little delicate study in lifting off more than dropping in ink. So first I'm going to put a liberal amount of alcohol in, and then this is Ranger's Pink Sherbert. I'm gonna take a paper towel and just move the ink around. Love the paper, obviously. Okay. So then what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna drop just a little bit of ink in, or alcohol, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take in this bowl blower and moving the ink around or off, I should say. I'm gonna create these dainty little petals. And we will be adding ink on here as well, but I wanna just do a little bit of a lift off first. It's kinda of look a little like um, fuchsia. All right, so now, right here, clearly have some blue on the tip of my applicator. Really, if you're using a bulb blower, really give it a good squeeze. I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna add a little bit more of that sherbet in. A little more gently squeeze that through. A little more alcohol. Oh, that looks pretty. One more here. And then I'll do another here. And as always, I do not care. Actually, I prefer the painting to go off at least one side of the page. And then I will add a little more Sherbert, whatever this is, yes, Sherbert, to this. alcohol. This is just creating layers. And it's probably time for me to get another bulb blower. This one's sort of struggling a little bit. And you can use whatever you have on hand whether it's a bowl blower or um, an electric duster or one of those um, desk dusters, canned air. It's gonna add more pink to that, but I don't think I'm going to. So what I'm gonna do now 
is take some the citrusy, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. It's a Cali Art Ink Marker. And I am gonna do some stems. Just like that. And then I'm gonna do another stem, I think. Coming up like this, through here. I'm gonna do a few little bulbs. Maybe one, we'll see. I'm gonna take my brush, which is a Ranger round brush, and I'm gonna clean this out. One of my little medicine measuring cups. Fill it with just plain alcohol. And then I'm going to create a new bulb here. Okay, I'm gonna do another one here too. I like to use the long part of the brush here. And go over that green. It's gonna create more color and interest. Which I really like and I think I'm just gonna run it through along here. And feels like I should probably do a little bit of, hmm, let's see. I'm gonna do a little pastel pink. Let me see if I can find one. Let's see if that's gonna work. No, that's too energy. These pinks look very orangey to me. Well, okay, let's try this one. Do a little kind of stamens through here. Make them cross over. It's sort of hard to see. But they are there. Okay, and then for the tips of those little bulbs, I'm gonna go with a much darker color for that. Let's do this. Some round little ends to those. Well, 
there you have it. I like the way that turned out. Um, you can splash some other color on there. I tend to like to use India inks to just sort of dot some maybe contrast color or maybe some green in there. If you use Bombay inks then or India inks, they aren't going to move your existing alcohol ink because they don't react. So I like to use those instead of dropping in some alcohol inks, which will react to whatever is on the paper. So you saw how quick and easy that was. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.